evidently a chair by a campsite with a truck in the parking lot does not mean you have a camp. Good morning, uh, Saturday, August 22nd. We are up here on the Joe. Uh, we're gonna meet Paul up here. So we're gonna fish with him again. Uh, you can see he had a little nosebleed. This dry air this summer is just wreaking havoc on my, my sinuses. So anyways, we're up here at the Idaho Fly Fishing Company. Uh, gonna get a cup of coffee and uh, maybe get a couple flies. Uh, and then we're gonna get on the road, head up river. All right, so the really, really nice campsite that Paul was telling me about. Uh, looks like it's gonna be available, but we gotta time it just right. There's a couple that's fishing it. They're not staying for the day, but they were staying for lunch. So we're trying to fish a run or two and then get back down there before someone else grabs it. So same deal as last time. Uh, kind of nervous about getting a good camp spot or getting uh, the camp spot that we want. All right, so it's 5.30. We just made it back up to our camp spot. We had Paul's truck parked right here. Uh, we had Paul's chair down there. And uh, I drove right by it because <laughs> someone else had a fire going. I didn't recognize it was our spot, but then I go, oh, wait a second, that's Paul's truck. So these fine folks uh, down here, they've uh, commandeered our camp spot. So now we are gonna go back downstream, uh, find the spot that we were just at that we just fished. So, oh well, such is life. All right, so camp is set up. I uh, got the rooftop tent and the truck behind me here. Things are unloaded up on that side there. Paul's got the fire going. We're getting ready to cook some dinner. I'm gonna take you up and we'll show you the, uh, the campsite. There's the fire master, hard at work. Um, so how do you feel about those Californians taking our camp spot? Yeah, we're going to let that one go because they're old. But uh, anybody else, I wouldn't tell them to get their crap and get out of it. Go ahead. Evidently, a chair by a campsite with a truck in the parking lot does not mean you have a camp. Salt and pepper. That's it, baby. Salt and pepper, that's all you need. So the fire master is now the grill master. So what do you do? Last night we had a awesome like four course meal right by the riverside, had a good sleep. Now we're gonna make some breakfast.
It's a Sunday morning. Uh, it's about 10.30. We got camp all broke down. We're on the road. Heading down the river. We found a cool little pool. We just got to figure out how to get down into it. Today's already shaping up to be kind of tough. There's been somebody parked in every pullout. So we're going to have to really fight for the fight for the water today, I think. But anyways, we'll make the best of it. We're going to figure out a trail down here. Today is kicking my butt. Three casts, three lost rigs, so I gotta rebuild now. Uh, probably just gonna sit down, kind of collect my thoughts and regroup for a minute or two. And then I think I'm gonna walk up here and take a peek around the, the corner here, see if there's another run. Okay, welcome back. Those of you that are just joining us, the Paul Wallace Dry Fly Clinic is in full effect. Did you just hook up again? Yeah. No, I just turned the camera on. I think we got that hook set on film. I got the big camera going. I got the GoPro going. We're gonna get a net. We're gonna get an underwater shot. So another great trip is in the books. It's a little before six o'clock Sunday night. I'm on the way home. Still got a lot of river to, uh, to drive along here on the way home. So we're gonna see some river. Uh, pretty nice, nice weather. It's 75 degrees, sunny, got the windows down. So overall, it was a great trip. Uh, started out a little bit slow yesterday. We got into a few fish. Uh, camping was awesome. Thanks to those uh, Californians, we ended up getting a different spot than we had intended, uh, but it worked out good. Uh, I was able to park the truck right on the beach, set up the tent. This morning started out kind of slow, but we worked for it and uh, found a run in the afternoon where Paul was able to get into about five or six fish all on dries, so that was pretty fun. And we found a couple spots where we had fish rising, uh, working our cast for those fish, so it's uh, pretty challenging. It was a lot of fun. I think I uh, got some work cut out for me. Uh, I filled up an entire 128 gigabyte card. There it is. Whew, thought I lost it. So 128 gigabyte card full and then uh, a partial on the second card, plus what's on the GoPro. So gonna be a lot of footage to sift through. So, all right, I'm gonna uh, turn the tunes up roll the windows down and enjoy the river and we will see you next time gopro stop recording <laughs> i i don't what why is that not rotating now i'm gonna have to flip this in post i don't know what just happened he literally just kind of flopped it out there just flopped the cast out there and the fish came up and ate it um i'm gonna see if i can if i can see this fish we'll net it This is going pretty good. Every time I say catch one more, Paul, almost on command, like one cast later, hooks up. This is making for good TV.